guys. We're going to be changing this board out today. This is the Bosch 15 sear, I believe. Yeah, it's a 15 sear. I've done quite a few of these boards here. Seems like anytime anything goes wrong, Bosch tells you to put a board in it. So that's what we're going to do today. disconnected power we want to wait uh, at least at least two or three minutes let these capacitors disengage and we also want to make sure we put everything back exactly the way it is all the sensors so we're gonna get some good video of all this they all will mainly go back exactly where they're at like the only place they can fit but you want to make sure you're you're thorough. Dip switch settings too. We've got all the wiring disconnected. Now we're going to take out all the screws around the perimeter. You can take all these screws out and not have to worry about this thing falling down because. It's going to be stuck on there, and I'll show you that part in a minute, how to get that off. All right, we've got all the perimeter screws out. And then now we want to take these screws out. we got one here, two, three, and four. We want to take all four of those out. We want to be careful with these ones because they do have thermal paste on them. And you don't want to get that everywhere. By the way, it gives you all new screws with this. Mounting screws, heat sink screws, heat sink paste. These little pieces of plastic, it gives you everything. So don't worry about saving stuff. All right, now that we got all those screws out, you see this right here? That little screw right there? That's a picture of a screw in, in this. We want to break that knockout out. And then we want to find the long screw in this bag. You see that screw right there? It's longer than the other machine bolts. We want to break that out and then get this screw out. All right, you see we have that screw started. It took me doing a couple of these, not reading the directions before I figured this out because you can pull and pull on this thing and it's not going to break free. It will eventually if you put enough into it and pry it in enough spaces. But you take that screw and you just start threading it in there and it will it will break that heat sink free from the board. We're just going to start threading that in there and it's going to bottom out eventually right there. It's bottomed out now. Just start keep threading and you can see the board's coming off now. See it's, it's broke free. Take that screw right back out, and this board will be a whole lot easier to get off. See, it's it's almost falling off now. There we go. Bam. And there's our board. Now we want to try to clean the old thermal paste off of the heat sink and put new thermal paste on. It's not a bad idea to wear gloves during this part. Get this stuff all over the place. You're not gonna get it perfect. Just, some, just so you get some of that old paste off there though. All right, we got the new thing of paste here that's provided. What's that say? new paste on there kind of spread it around a little bit that part is extremely important because without fresh good paste your board could overheat all right we used the new plastic pieces provided got those all snapped in and when we put this on it's going to be easier for us to get these screws started first than getting the 
heat sink screws. So we're gonna put that in place, get a couple of them started, and then we'll lock the rest of them down. All right, you see we got all our mounting perimeter screws in first, and that should then line up all of our four heat sink screws. We don't have to worry about trying to get them lined up. They should already be lined up for us now. All right, in this bag here, they gave us two new grounding wires and these two insulators here. The insulators will go right there. And then here's our two grounding wires. Even though there's probably nothing wrong with these, we're still gonna replace them because they give them to us. All right, the last two screws provided, the new ones are for these two wires here. So we're gonna land them now. Then it's just a matter of putting all our plugs back. All right, we got all our plugs landed. We're just gonna just make sure all the wiring is pushed back in. Sometimes it's, it's easy for these wires to pull out a little bit. We just wanna go back, make sure they're all pushed in properly. Make sure nothing's exposed. Everything's back nice and tidy. Make sure we tidy this up here. And we also have our dip switches set the way they were on the old one. All right, everything looks good. This plug was the last one I hooked up because that is my live call coming in. So really the only thing powered right now would be Y because there is no R coming out here on these Bosch's. So we have, this is W, Y, B in common. So whenever you just have a cooling call, all you get is Y. In a heating call, you will get Y and B. And then in defrost or emergency heat, you'll have it on W also. But I wanted to hook up that last because that was my only means of power coming out here. So I didn't want to have anything um, else unhooked before I had that hooked up. Probably didn't really matter, but that's my logic. So we're about to restore power to this and make sure it comes back on. All right. It's hard for you guys to see that, but it's reading 79, which would be our outdoor ambient temperature. Our fan is now starting. And the, just the fan will run for a couple minutes before it brings on the compressor. All right, and now the compressor just came on and this number is climbing. Like I said, hard for you guys to see it, but that is how many Hertz the compressor is running at. It's climbing, it's up to 28 now. And everything is coming on, so we'll monitor it for a few minutes. All right, by pressing this force button right here, it sends it into high speed as long as we have a call. So we'll let it run like that for a little while. You guys, the reason we got to finally replacing this board was because there was a whole bunch of issues that we could not explain. Tech support couldn't explain it either. But finally, one technician went out there and it was reading a P error, which is a uh, compression ratio protection that the system goes into. Well, finally, the tech support just said, just replace the board. So that's what we did. And um, it's been, this video was shot about a week ago. So we haven't had any issues since then. Let's hope it stays that way. So, all right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out Jobber, link in the description. I'll catch you on the next one. <music>